Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the session of 6th International Project and Construction Management Conference. My name is Güldan Gümüşburun Ayalp. I am Associate Professor Doctor in Hasan Kalyoncu University, Department of Architecture. I am my colleague, Assistant Professor Doctor uh, Tülay Çivici from Balıkesir University, Department of Architecture, prepared this paper. Our paper is related to determine the source of academic stress among architecture students. Then I want to start my presentation. Architecture is known a multidisciplinary, multidimensional, multi-skilled and multimedia practice. Therefore, architects need to know about many crafts, technologies and theories and to have the ability to communicate with specialists in many fields. This is also true during the education process for the discipline. Architectural education is not simply vocational education achieved by the training. Architectural education process is not just about teaching how to solve problems, but also about finding what the problems actually are. In this respect, architectural education has its own specifications and it is distinct from both the practice of the architecture and the education of the other disciplines. There are two main classifications of architectural courses in the curriculum. First one is lecture courses that communicate history, technology and legal issues. Other one is design studio which enable creative exploration and the organization of the complex problems. The duality between design studios and lectures produce significant workload for architecture students. Architecture students state not worth the stress symptoms during their education. In addition, they are more anxious than the other students who are training at other departments. Corresponding this duality, architecture education encompasses highly stressful learning environments. Stress is often mentioned as negative emotions contributing to growing lack of student academic success in university. There are several types of stressors for university students. For example, financial obligations, home life, school work, relationship, and etc. These stressors incite negative emotions such as stress, depression, anxiety on students causing negative impacts on their academic work. The leading stressor experienced by undergraduate students are related to academic one. Aim of this research is to identify the main causes of academic stressors experienced by architecture students in Turkey at two different types of universities, namely state and private. Other purpose of the study is to determine the impact of university type on students' perception of academic stressors. To reach this aim, data were obtained from architecture undergraduates at first, second, third and fourth year architecture students during 2018 and 2019 academic year and spring semester from two different types of university of architecture departments in Turkey. Questionnaire was used as an instrument to collect data. Questionnaire forms were constituted by researchers with literature review and interviewing architecture students. By interviews and literature review, 32 academic stressors were determined, and with these stressors, questionnaire was designed. Questionnaire is applied to 468 architecture students. A total of 459 completed questionnaires were returned, representing a high response of rate. The academic stressors of architecture students were investigated by using factor analysis. In addition, the relationship among academic stressors were determined by correlation analysis. The impact of university type was additionally analyzed with independent sample t-test. All statistical analyses were evaluated by using SPSS 22 software program. When we look at the finding of this research, I want to start with a characteristic of participants. Participants were between 18 and 29 years old and included both males and females. 
Type of university representations consist of 262 students educated in private university and 197 students in state university. According to several social scientists, reliability should be measured to identify the internal consistency between questions while using Likert scale in a questionnaire. To ensure internal consistency, reliability analyses were conducted on 32 academic stressor items. Finally, Cromba alpha coefficient was calculated 0.905 that shows the range of internal consistency for this study. To determine the differentiation and perception of academic sources of the stressors between architecture students who are educated at different type of architecture schools, independent sample t-test was conducted. The result of the analysis is shown in this table. According to results, there are statistically significant mean differences at 12 items. Two of these items cause more stress on state universities' architecture students. Other 10 items cause more stress on private universities' architecture students. As a part of main aim of this research to determine the factor structure is important. To identify the main categories of academic stressors, Factor analysis was conducted on the responses of 32 items with very max rotation. Items with factor loading greater than 0.4 were accepted as principal stressors. Due to factor loadings of all items greater than 0.4, none of the items were extracted from questionnaire. Chromba alpha reliabilities, factor and factor loadings were summarized at this table. You can see there are 7k factors that cause stress on architecture students. Using correlation analysis, academic stressors interrelationships were analyzed. Intercorrelations within the 7 factors are given in this table. There are remarkable positive correlation between fear of disappointment and anxiety about cannot reach their occupational dreams. Second one is intensive academic schedule, and examination and course challenges. Third one is intensive academic schedule and different characteristic of architectural education. And finally, academic success and time pressure and different characteristic of architectural education. In this research, academic stressors of architecture students and the correlation among academic stressors are determined. In addition, the relationship between university type and the source of academic stressors are identified. The results of this research are There are 7k academic stressors that cause stress on architecture students. First factor is different characteristics of architectural education. Second one is inadequate academic staff and unusual assessment and evaluation techniques of courses. Third one is NCT about cannot reach their occupational dreams. Fourth one is examination and course challenges. Fifth one, intensive academic schedule. Other one is fear of disappointment. And finally, academic success and time pressure. There are 12 significant relationships between source of academic stressors and university type. Two of these sources cause more stress on students who are educated at state university. When the context of two items were analyzed, it is remarkable that both of items related with factor two, inadequate academic staff and unusual assessment and evaluation technique of courses. Other 10 items cause more stress on architecture students who are educated at private universities. Three of items belong to factor three, Two of items belong to factor 4, three of items belong to factor 6, one of items belong to factor 5, and uh, other one is belong to factor 7. The professional degree plan in architecture is filled with diverse and challenging topics, including history, technology, human factor, theory, urban planning, issues of professional practice and design. It can be concluded from these findings that there is a significant difference about perception of sources of academic stressors between the students at private and state architectural schools. 
In addition, 7K academic stressors may cause burnout. Then students may receive treatment for mental health issues and they may decide to leave their school. At this point, it is important to decrease the stress level of architecture students. Therefore, having knowledge about the sources of stress and stressors of architecture students may provide to take some precautions to minimize their effects. In addition, these efforts contribute to maximize the productivity of learning. Thank you for listening and your patience.